I for one really enjoyed the Olympics and during the Olympics Bolt said that he'd like to play for Manchester United and so it made me think would Bolt actually work on Manchester United you know he'd definitely have the pace but would his finishing be good enough you know would he fit in well with the team and so this led me to create the Olympic 11. I did it on Creation Center and I thought it would be fun to try out so I'm going to share it with you guys today. So let's go ahead and see the team then. At the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you some goals I scored online with the team. So stay tuned for that. So let's go right into the squad now. And as you can see, in goal, we have Michael Phelps. I mean, his diving, his kicking, his reflexes. Why wouldn't I put him in goal? I also gave him 99 agility and, you know, the six foot four American, I think would do a nice job in goal. The next player we have is Robert Harting. You're probably going, who the hell is Robert Harting? But the six foot seven German international is the champion at discus. And so, long story short, this guy's just a monster. I gave him 99 strength, 95 jumping, 99 aggression, and 99 long shots just for fun. As you can see, I didn't really want to make any of the players really overpowered by giving them great stats in all areas. And so you'll see when I get to the sprinters in the team that, you know, they're really fast, but their shooting's just not great at all. And so for the two centre-backs, I kind of cheated a little bit. I mean, they were in the Olympics, but I thought, you know, these six foot ten basketball players surely would make good centre-backs. They're tall, strong, quick. And so that's who I have. I have LeBron James, the first centre-back. I honestly think he'd be an absolute monster in football. By the way, I didn't make his stats, guys. Some players I just downloaded that were already on Creation Center saved me a bit of time. And so I didn't make these stats, but these stats are just unbelievable. And so I'll move straight on to the next center back, Kobe Bryant. He may not be six foot ten, but you know, he's pretty solid. Six foot six. I think he'll do the job at center back pretty nicely. His stats aren't incredible, but I think he fits into the center back position pretty well. In the left back position, we have Ryan Bailey, you know, the US athlete. He's not, you know, he's pretty fast, and so that's basically all he is. The rest of his stats aren't brilliant, and so I'll move straight on. And so in the CDM position, we have Chris Hoy, good old reliable. None of his stats are incredible, but none, none of his stats are bad. Curve 90, and the English cyclist, you know, does the job in that role. His sprint speed, 88's pretty good, and that's about it for him. And so I had to put in Asafa Powell, the Jamaican sprinter, into the team. He's really good. I thought he's, you know, is a really fast guy. So he's got 96 sprint speed, 95 acceleration, you know, and all of his other stats aren't incredible. But he's probably one of the best rounded players in the team if you look at his shooting and his pace. Going from one Jamaican to another now, in the, I think we have him in the right wing position, we have Johan Blake. I mean, four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, 99 acceleration, only 95 sprint speed. You know, I couldn't make him quite as fast as fast as Bolt, but Johan Blake's really good. His shooting stats are pretty average, but, you know, what are you going to do? This guy's a sprinter, not a footballer. But this Jamaican wants to be a footballer. Usain Bolt I have in the left wing position, made him five-star skill moves just for fun. And he's got the flair trait, he's a speeder, and, you know, 99 sprint speed, 98 acceleration, 91 strength, and all of his other stats are complete shit in order to try and balance him out a little bit. And so what other player could I have in the box-to-box -box midfielder role? other than Mo Farah. Some of his traits and specialties include engine, distant shooter, and he has 89 sprint speed, 99 stamina, and you know, he's got all right shooting stats, you know, he's all right to shoot with, which is good, and he's got five star weak foot. I mean, this guy beat the cube guys, so he could probably play football. And then finally, in the striker role, we have Konogaraz. Um, Right now, you're just going, Curry from Mario, who the hell is Konogaraz? Well, this guy got the gold medal in shooting. I mean, this 5'10 Croatian can blast it in from anywhere, surely. 5-star, weak foot, 99 strength, 99 aggression, 99 long shots, 99 heading, and all that good stuff. But, you know, his pace lacks a little bit, which is why he's not that great of a player. So just a quick recap of the team now. In goal, we have Michael Phelps. Right back, Harting, the gold medalist for Discus. 
LeBron James and Kobe Bryant centre backs, Ryan Bailey left back, Hoy and Powell centre defensive mids, Blake on the right, Bolt on the left, Mo Farah centre forward, and Konogura as striker. And so I'm going to go online now and play some matches and show you guys some goals that I scored with this team. So right away you can see Konogaraz in on goal and he uses his little bit of pace, not a lot, but that 99 shooting really shows in that goal. As you can see, pinpoint accuracy and he's just a great all-round player. I really enjoyed playing with him. And then Mo Farah gives the defender a spin here. And how about that for a chip? I think Mo Farah's shooting stats weren't excellent, but he was still able to pull that off. And unfortunately, you can't do the Mo celebration in the game. So I had to settle for the Usain Bolt celebration, which was close enough. I really enjoyed playing with Johan Blake. When he had the ball on the wing, I liked cutting in with him, doing fake shots, etc. And he always seemed to, you know, his shooting was subpar. So he always seemed to set up a goal for somebody else. Like the time before, LeBron James got on the score sheet. And then this time, I think it's Mo Farah who's able to benefit from Blake's failed shot, shall I say. And there he is again, the Usain Bolt celebration. And then this guy just wasn't a great player. And Konogaraz, you know, if he's trying to do a fake shot with his goalkeeper, Konogaraz reads that like a book and he's in on goal. And then once again here against a new opponent after that guy rage quit, Konogaraz just bends that round the goalkeeper with pinpoint accuracy before Mo Farah is now getting in on goal, showing off his, you know, little bit of pace and acceleration and is able to hammer that into the back of the net. So... At this point, I was quite enjoying playing with this team a lot, and I was taking shots from all over the place, and unfortunately, that shot by Bailey hit the crossbar, which was a bit unfortunate, but Bolt finally got on the score sheet and was able to pull off his trademark celebration. And so I'm nearing towards the end of this video now, and I want your guys' opinion of who you would have put in your Olympic team. You know, I would have liked to put people such as Jessica Ennis, but you know, due to the lack of being able to create a female in this i wasn't able to but who would have you people put into your olympic team and who have i missed out all right so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and it's been fun for you to watch i thought i'd do a little something different and this has been curry from ario peace